What I can tell you about the new story is you you will be disappointed because of how little he has on the screen. <laughs> he just kind of like appears like, all right, and then fights and then goes away. <laughs> Uh, I think but he's pretty hmm. much like, hi, mm -hmm. okay, bye. Yeah, pretty much. There's no like extra scenes throughout the story. It's just kind of like, okay, he, like, uh, oh, the har the Fatui Harbinger is here. It's like, what? And then they fight. Uh, and then. It's, uh, and then the fight's over, and then he runs off, basically. But, yes, there are, there is a, uh, for, there is foreshadowing for, for more Capitano stuff. But if you're, like, expecting, like, a little more Capitano, then you'll be pretty disappointed. Other than that, the, I think the story's okay, or... It's it's good, you know. It's setting oh. up that one, I think. So it's pretty much not a full um what you call a full uh update expansion, whatever you call it. Well, I mean it is. It's just the story is it's just kinda like taking its time to set um, up. Yeah. Because hmm. you, you I mean, yeah, you can go to um uh, Natlin and then explore and well not all of Natlin is unlocked they always like do that like with more and more updates but you get a good amount I guess a de or a decent amount yeah it's like another update pretty much oh god alright anyway um there is that. Okay. So, are you ready? Yep. Alrighty. Well, it is that time of the week again. We are back for another episode of the Hypecast. Hello, hello. With yours truly, as always, Sean, aka Hawk525. With my cohort, as always, uh, who is now actually a year older now. <laughs> um, Zawa. The Albert, the today's birthday boy, as we record this, of course. So, um, yeah, right on the Saturday too, right? So, I thought I thought you have like you would have like plans, but okay, I mean, did, uh, you, we, did you already have your plans, or is it tomorrow that you? Yeah, we 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 did it like yesterday. Okay, gotcha. Uh, it was like okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how was it? It was a it was a quaint. You know, a little luncheon and stuff. Hanged out with my niece, which I can already tell because she's showing attitude for a freaking four year, four or five year uh, month year old, a five month old uh -huh. child. I'm like, it's like looking at my mom, going like, this child's gonna give us problems. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's just a baby. No, no, the signs are there. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> like, this niece is gonna <laughs> is gonna piss me off one way or another. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you're you're well, you're now thirty four. Yes. Yes, I am legal. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, I have to say it like that. When we're gonna talk about um, a certain doctor who <laughs> used to live stream. God damn it. It does set the tone, though, I that's mean, for sure. It does set the tone a little bit. It does, but I say I'm legal because I... Do you know how many times I got carded at EVO? Well, at at Vegas. Yeah. 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 And I, I deliberately had myself placed under the security cam 
So every time like the the floor security would come up and go like, "Can I see your ID?" It's like, "Bro, just look thirty minutes before." Mm-hmm. <laughs> I never moved. <laughs> this yeah. is like the fifth person here yeah. asking for my ID. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's funny. I mean, I've had uh, there there ha- there have been like new hires coming in in work or for work and uh, um. Yeah. They tell me I look younger <laughs> than I am, than I actually am. I'm like, uh, ah, yeah. yes, the Asian genes are still uh, kicking enough, I guess. Until we hit fifty, then yeah, then it go, then it like just hits. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. There are some like Japanese um, CEOs and actors. Right. Oh yeah, they're, they're pretty like, much yeah. vampire. They're like, pretty much like vampires, man. Yeah, they're vampires. <laughs> Especially the jo- the JoJo like, author or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Man, that's crazy. I mean, there are there are like some like for the Super Sentai and Kamen Rider actors. Yes. It's like, wow, your show was fucking ten years ago. Why haven't you aged? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what secrets mm-hmm. have you <laughs> are you keeping from people? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, my I feel like my birthdays are already coming up, man. That's how fast time has been going. We're already in September, man, and it's fucking hot for some reason. I know. Like usually September for Hawaii, it it's hot, but it's not like I need to turn on the AC. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, same here. But like, it's been humid. It's been hot. Like. Just ridiculous man over 90 over here man it shouldn't be september you know other parts of cali or especially the valley is like fucking 116 at some point dude it's ridiculous absolutely it's insane. your mm-hmm. it's your mini um vegas <laughs> pretty much vegas weather over there yeah yeah it's a, i mean it's, de- it's, a, it's a desert so pretty much uh, but you know, uh, we're still kicking. We're still here, and we got stuff to talk about, including. Oh God damn it! I forgot to bring my uh, soundboard thing. Hold on. <laughs> I we got one more cast member. All right. Let me bring this. Motherfucker in, and then we ne- then we can get things going for realsies. There we go. Uh, bu- 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 bu. oh yeah, this that. All right, now with that, finally for realsies, let's start the fighting game stuff because we actually have some stuff to talk about. This battle is about to explode. Yes. Quarter up, people. <laughs> Quarter up, yeah. Uh, so, I believe the first one on the board, or on a docket, rather, is um something about Marvel vs. Capcom, the, uh, what do you call it, the collection? So, the previous... Collection. Yes, the Finding Collection. Um, Previously, it wasn't going to be on Xbox, but now, it's on Xbox, it's, or, or it's coming to Xbox. Uh, more specifically, though, Xbox One. So, yeah. Um, not so much like, yeah, Series X, blah, 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 whatever, or Series S. Uh, Xbox One. Which I haven't heard that name in years. <laughs> First off, but yeah. Yeah, so, you know, um, W for pretty much now, everyone, because, yeah, it's uh, available... Everywhere else as well as uh, as well as like Steam, um, PlayStation, Switch, you name it. So pretty nice uh, to hear. Considering that you know a long time ago, um, like the go to console when it came to at least Marvel th- three uh, was Xbox. Yep, that was the platform to go on because the netcode there was a little better, and then the netcode on PS3 was a fucking nightmare <laughs> in, in comparison. To be fair, remember, 
we didn't have to pay online for PS3 back in the day. That was the one I thing. Mm -hmm, that was the one thing um, the PS3 had over the Xbox for sure, right? Um, and then you know, of course, the PS4 came around, and then that's when we had to start paying for that shit. I remember those days, man. Shit. Online sir or online subscription? What's that? You know. But yeah, you know, uh, there's Xbox Live back in the day. That's what you had to pay for. But at least I guess you got you you got your money's worth, you know. In a way. But for some, you gotta give it a PlayStation for um being free back in the day. And for something that was free, it ran decently, I would say. But yeah, definitely. When it comes to it, yeah, Xbox was the way to go, I guess, for Marvel Three. Yeah. So yeah, um, you know, uh, and also, I mean, it was also because um, like the PS3, everyone, if you don't remember, it was notorious for being a difficult um console for developers to work yes, on. Yes, because of the um, processor and such. It was some weird processor, like Cell, some, some, some rather, yeah. Um. So yeah, it was very notorious. That's why um, a lot of games went to Xbox, and then it was ported over to PlayStation. After, but uh, that but it, it, it still didn't like help out because there are some games after yeah. the conversion, it it just ran horribly wrong. Yeah, it, even then, yeah, like it was kind of like a gamble, right? <laughs> Whether I it mean, ran or not. Like the one game that came that comes to mind like always is fucking the first iteration of um Bayonetta. Yep. The pause menu in Bayonetta for PS3 literally would take like ten to twenty seconds to load. Mm -hmm. So so you 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 kind of like doing this at the time. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much the gist of that back in the day. But now, nowadays, it's more on PlayStation and Xbox has kind of like been the back burner. But, um, but yeah, either way, finding game collection or finding collection, excuse me, for Marvel's Capcom is coming to um, Xbox. So it, that that missing piece of the puzzle is now being pretty much filled in. So that's cool. All right, so pretty much that's it for I mean, that. Uh, oh, sorry, you had to say you had something to say. Uh, it's like it's kind of like now you know a game, well, a fighting game collection is not console exclusive now. It's actually like everyone can play it. Game, everyone play can it enjoy on the go, it. Mm -hmm. Play it, play it at you know home. At home. Depending if, yes, if you're an Xbox. PC or PlayStation. Yeah. Now the big question is, which is you know a question to oldest fucking time, which one is gonna which online is gonna run better? Right. Yeah. That is, uh, I guess, a question to be imposed. Right. I'll laugh my ass off if the fucking Switch runs better. Right. I mean, you never know, right? Even though Nintendo's not so on point when it comes to the online experiences for a lot of the games. Like Smash, for example. Oh, my God. But anyway. Well, first... Well, the first iteration of Smash, like... Because when Ultimate came out, it, it... It was stable, but you felt the hiccups. But it was like, you know, it's bearable. Like, past, like, mm. brawl time and shit. Oh, Holy. I mean, that's not, that's not even a... Yeah. That's not even a fair comparison because it was so bad in Brawl. It was terrible in Brawl. I, I, I tried it once and I was like, nope, never again. Never, ever again. But uh, at least, yes, Ultimate was more bearable, but still, like, it... You you would think, like, you know, um, for a game being called Smash Ultimate, right? They would hope... You would have hoped to, like, have... They ironed out, like, the, the have ironed out, yeah, yeah, especially from Smash 4, yeah, you know, but um, it was still, but, yeah, 
not great. <laughs> it, it was still not great, but it was it was enough to say, you know what, you guys are trying, and we thank you. I would say yes and no, but yeah, it really depends what you're looking it at. It depends or... on your um, outlook or your inlook. <laughs> right. No, I mean, of course, like, it, it also depends on where you're from, too. That definitely does play a part, but I think universally mm -hmm. it was, uh, um... Oh, and also if you were, like, wired in... Yeah, yeah, if you're wired wi -Fi in or Wi-Fi... Oh, God, yeah. I mean, again, like, our matches, yeah, it had its kinks, but it wasn't bad, but I guess it's because, you know, Hawaii and Cali is not that far different. I guess not. Because I know when I was playing against uh, my friend who lived in, um, at the time, um, Virginia, I felt it. And I was like, like, I felt it in my soul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I can't play with you. Yeah. <laughs> <I don't> like... <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. Yeah. It definitely wasn't as bad as, remember, um, the first, like, launch week or whatever of uh, MKX. Oh, MKX. That was bad <laughs> like yeah like we could even do like the basic we were, we're both playing reptile we could even do our combo <laughs> yeah we could even do a basic bnb it was like mm -hmm. eh? yeah <laughs> like big <stop> it. <laughs> it yeah it was that was that one was bad and then they all <laughs> like up. we we were forever like <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> Are we using reptiles trait right now or not? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Man, those were the times. All right. Those well, anyway, the times. Mm, those are the times. All right. So that's it for that. Let's head on to a trailer, a character trailer for um, Mortal Kombat 1, Chaos Reigns. More specifically for um, Sector. Who also, yes, yes. Victor. Yeah. Who also, yes, yes. Female. Females in my video game? You're right. Whoa. What's yeah. your name? Call me Sector. I'll call you anytime you want. Um, Sector. I share his mm. vision for the Lin Kuei. We won't be bound by Liu Kang's limits. Fight over land, resources. Myself and others seek a powerful future. They and their ilk cling to an anemic past. You and Sub Zero won't earn the Empress's mercy. Once said, her mind doesn't change. We are not fighting for her mercy, we are fighting for our lives. That looks pretty fun to play. Does, but I don't remember unless my memory is fucking up. Was Sector in general that fucking dick riding on Behan? Yeah, uh, I think this is uh, more for here. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I I remember like Sekto highly regarded beyond longing for Sub Zero's mm. safe return. But again, this is just making like Jesus calm down. Yeah. Can you hear me? Our goal is unchanged. Finish him. Ah! 
Mm -hmm. I, I, I kind of like this one, actually. It's pretty creative. It's creative, but the only critique I will give it is I hate the, the Iron Man. Yes, thing. very inspired by Iron Man, for sure. Like, that that didn't need it. Yeah. You didn't need this. Because <laughs> this, to me, is it's a waste of screen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It could have been something else, yeah. Like, we know it's a battle on. You don't need to show that yeah yeah it's just this is kind of like flexing the yes we love movies kind of passion or whatever i mean i'm not so bothered by it, but I, I get it i get it. it's kind of a kind of a cli uh a trope i guess or tr cliche and then yeah the helmet Constantly opening and closing. Yeah, that's very um Iron Manny. I also wish that when when you land, yeah, like the body got obliterated, but I wanna I wish that she like had like the skull in her hand and then she crushes it. Like yeah. just like that add, add that little more like Yeah, it's like completely that little, um, gone. Yeah. Like I get it, but you know, just mm -hmm. have like something in her hand and she just goes like that. Mm -hmm. And then she turns to the camera going like Next. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. And then she has, yeah, animality or whatever. As a rhino, of all things. Yep, and that's it. So. Um, nothing else new here other than the animality and stuff. Um. But yeah, I, I mean, I mostly like the uh this fatality because it's a little more on the creative side i like it other than yeah the little iron man stuff mm. but yeah um but yeah you know there's uh this little chunk of dislikes right because oh sector is female blah 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 like uh, i don't know the sector is female this game is woke mm -hmm. like jesus yeah, I mean, Johnny. Johnny's not. Is. Yeah, Johnny does not give a shit. He's he's he is flirting. <laughs> he is <laughs> he is trying to flirt with the uh, the females, you know. Um. I mean, some people like it, that, like the fact that it is Iron Man inspired. So I mean, you know, to each their own, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, here in the comments for, oh, okay, well, I was about to say, mostly positive, yeah, that's true, but, uh, gender swapping sector in Cyrax feels lazy, like a cheap way to include more female characters instead of coming up with the original ones. Also, MK1 sector feels like a Lee May clone. Um... I kind of feel that. I kind of feel like that. In what ways? <laughs> well, I mean, like, well, what are you, what are you referring to? The Lee May stuff or the fact that... Yeah, the, the Lee May. I don't know about that. Is, but, it, is uh, it by the, like, the warrior, you know, the warrior bound code? I think so, but maybe the face? I don't know. Maybe it might be the... I could... Okay, now let me see the face here. I could see it. Yeah. Yeah. I can kind of, yeah. <laughs> to which, again, it's like, I hope it doesn't run into um, the DOA yeah, effect. See, yeah, it's syndrome, yeah. Where all the females pretty much were the same model. Mm -hmm. Just a little... Tinkered. Altered. And, yeah, a little altered. But this is like... Young DOA. Like, DOA 5 and 6, they kind of found their footing of like hey this is did they you know <laughs> did they i don't know I, I mean i haven't i haven't looked at it but I, I don't i don't i definitely don't feel like they're out of those woods you know well they haven't been out of the woods for a long time because <sighs> they they cater to you know the the, the moy and cutesy shit and stuff like actual like the fights hmm Hmm. But yeah. Um. I mean, I kind of feel the the what do you call it, the laziness when it comes to just making pre-existing characters just a little different. 
like yeah. oh yeah we uh female whatever or male whatever right um Im <laughs> man imagine taking a female character and then making them male like how would i wonder how that would play out you know right if some somebody's already complaining about a female sector in Cyrax, like, could you imagine if they did that for um, like someone like uh, like Sonya, right? It'd be like Sunny or something, Sunny Blade or some shit, right? <laughs> a male Sonya Blade, people would be furious. I'm I'm sure, because it kind of has like that reverse effect where it's like. Oh yeah, um, a fem. Uh, what do you call? Um, pretty much like making making somebody a waifu is a little more welcoming, while making them uh male rather from a female character is uh you know you you know because it's mostly males yeah. who play this game, if not pretty much yeah most. Like ninety percent, I would say, hypothetically speaking, play Mortal Kombat. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure there'd be uh, some fury to be had with the players. But for me, um, I don't care about it too much. But I kind of get the the laziness thing because yeah, like why not? Why not bring in the the f other female characters that we haven't seen in a long time? You know, but. You know, for whatever reason, take these characters, make them what they're not, whatever, you know. I mean, yes, this is a this has like a bunch of universes and it's a mul it's the multiverse thing. So I guess I guess an excuse. But I think a lot more people are kind of tired of the whole uh, multiverse trend. Yep. Yeah, which is kind of which is very evident for sure when it comes to uh, MCU. I think it's going. I, I think it's making ways out, out of the door, uh, or however the saying goes. Um. But anyway, I mean, Sekto does look fun visually, but you know we'll see how she actually plays when it comes to like more on the uh, quote unquote me uh, competitive side of things. You know, since she flies, right? She, will she uh, be another character with flight cancels and a bunch of crazy mix-up kind of things like Homelander and uh, I think I think uh, Omni Man has something like that. But yeah, you know, will will uh, Sonic Fox pick up this character and win another tournament with with uh, you know with a new DLC character? Who knows? All right. All right. That's all I got. If we don't have any more comments for Sector, uh, to wrap up the fighting game portion of things, I don't know why it's not letting me click. Um, I'll just do this. It's a <laughs> okay. So this is just a little bit for um, Fury, uh, uh, Fatal Fury, State of the Wolves. Uh, apparently, according to Noisy Pixel, uh, they're gonna have like three year, three uh, three years of DLC planned for uh, Fatal okay. Fury. Okay, well, that, that, that's a good yeah. that's a good timeline, a good life cycle. Yes, for a game mm -hmm. for a fighting game. Yes, so that's like what three seasons? Is that how how that works? Or um, I'm, or is it or is it like every half uh, half a year is is a season or something? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, I mean, three years though. I mean, th despite that, I mean, whatever it may be, uh, sounds like a pretty healthy life cycle for a game like this, right? Where um, SNK tends to be a little more niche, so that's why um, it kind of tends to be more be more on the ba uh, back burner when, in comparison to other fighting games. But yeah, I mean, three years though. Holy holy crap! You know, I did not expect that for. Um, Fatal Fury, you know, it seems like they're really betting that um, a lot of people are going to um, uh, 
pick up this game because it does yes it, it does look more appealing this time around so it looks like they're really trying to hype it up and stuff and hopefully it'll have a healthy player base um by the time it releases and hopefully so they'll I mm, hope... yeah go ahead I do hope that this is not their way to do what Capcom did with like like oh you know if you want more of this title or see more of these characters you better buy the game or if not, you know, cut off like mm -hmm. how Capcom did with the Dark Song. Yeah. Let the game yeah. yeah. Let the game naturally breathe and grow. Mm -hmm. Grow its community. Don't don't sh force us to buy this game to say like give you one more. Buy it. Mm -hmm. and, uh... Yeah. <clears> hmm. <throat> um trying to see if there's anything else to it but it looks like not um so yes uh for those who have not gotten the memo already uh the game will be what is it um 40 bucks or something right 40 or 60 bucks but it already has like a yep. uh, the dlc pass built in there so it's like uh, no extra cost pretty much and then it'll have um at launch 15 to 17 characters i guess and then um the rest of that will uh, will be DLC, um, I because th I think yeah it's that's five characters right I believe the DLC pass had five characters in there with the silhouettes, if I can recall correctly. So it is it's a it's a pretty healthy number and it looks like um they're not going to add any more to the story I guess right uh to the RPG mode quote unquote um yeah episodes of South Town. That's the yeah RPG mode, so it looks like um those DLC characters won't add any more to the story, which, you know, that does come at a cost, but um that does mean you we get to have a, a couple more character or yeah a few more characters right per season, unlike um Street Fighter Six because they do take the time to craft an actual story uh segment right. For each of those characters, including Bison, all the way up to um, uh, Elena, right? And of course, with even Terry and, and Nai, speaking of which. So that's pretty much the gist of that. Uh, three years, hopefully they'll, you know, keep their word, right? Hopefully that's a thing. So, uh, I still to do look forward to it. I really li would like to... Um, see the game thrive better than uh KY15 and Sam show cuz uh definitely those two games could have been a lot better but you know it was just those key things that unfortunately did not come through and uh they kind of definitely affected the game's um health if you will so hopefully those have been ironed out by the time Fatal Fury comes out uh, which is next year. All right, heading on over to um, frontline news. Um, let's go ahead and blast this. All right, so in frontline news, we talked about Concord, right? Concord was the forty dollar uh, uh, live service hero shooter. That was supposed to be um, a potential flagship IP for, for uh, Sony, right? They put a lot of time and money into this, right? But lo and behold, um, it went offline yesterday as we record this, right? September 6th of this year. Though they refunded uh, uh, fully to all the players who bought the game. So that's commendable i guess but um the game took like what from what i've been hearing like eight years and then it uh the cost was i i, I can imagine be like over um hundreds of millions of dollars and the game only lasted like uh sometime between eight uh eight to ten ten days let's just say right less than a week or two weeks which is like, I would say, yeah, definitely like the fastest flop 
for a triple-A title that's supposed to have, like, a big premiere and everything, you know. Um, any comments for, uh, for Concord? Besides the big, massive oof. Yeah. I feel bad for, like, the developers. Oh, for sure, yeah. Put on, yeah. On this project. I feel no sympathy for the higher ups about this. Yeah, the sort of execs, if you will. Yeah, because they were really trying to push the whole like live service, right? Especially when back when uh, Jim Ryan was around. Um, yeah, it, it's um, definitely not a good look right now for sure for Sony when it comes to this. Uh, you know, people say what they will, right? I mean. They've been saying like this is the biggest game flop of all time. I say that's a bit of a stretch. Um, I feel like ET was a little worse because I actually uh, that actually made the uh, video game market crash. Um, it's weird because it did sell better than this for sure, but uh, it did not make up the cost at the time. Thus, um, uh initiating that crash right because a, a lot of apparently a lot of money was also put into that game because you know it's et right you know and inflation all that inflation adjustment blah 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 right um but this is definitely up there for sure like a lot of time was put into it it only lasted uh less than two weeks and um they're completely going offline you know no not even like um oh yeah we're gonna make it free to play and refund the players or whatever they're just pulling the plug completely um it does say that um what was the exact quote um let me see oh yeah they're they're trying to quote unquote explore options, including th uh those that will better reach our players, right? See that could sound like yeah they're trying to make it go free to play, but even then, when you think about it, with the clo the the beta stuff, there weren't a whole lot of people already playing the beta, like nobody wanted to play the game like in the first place, so I don't think even the free to play stuff is going to save it at all. Um, unless they just completely overhaul the game, make the characters look better, have an actual theme to the whole Concord, um, uh, franchise, because what the fuck is that supposed to be, right? What, what, what game was that supposed to be in terms of themes, right? You never really got an established, like, image of Concord. Like, yeah, it's space. And yeah, these characters kind of look something like a ripoff of, 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 of Guardians of the Galaxy, if you will. But there's no, like, central foundation. There's no, like, identity, right? It was definitely in some sort of identity crisis, right? Um, we've already talked about, like, the characters last week. Um, you know, just from looking at them, they're kind of just like, what the hell am I looking at? You know, like what, you know, it's like probably some of the worst, some of the worst character designs seen within the uh, AAA budget. Um, there's identity, plenty of uh, like identity crisis for each character already. But I think that, yeah, like the game as a whole is just a giant identity crisis. And then, you know, there's a whole thing about, again, like the whole, oh, the woke thing, the D, D, DEI, that stuff, um, um, diversity, uh, you know, bad or whatever, right? But, you know, I don't think definitely that's any of that. I think that's the cherry on top, for sure. And maybe that's what did um, fuck up the character designs to a degree, but... It was forty dollars for what's what looks like to be a free to play game. The gameplay was mid at best, right? It just didn't stick out from the rest. That's like I think that's like, that's like the issue overall. On top of the fact that it is forty dollars, 
and also the uh, trailer for this game really didn't help it at all. No, like, um, no, I did not. I didn't really. I, yeah. it, mm-hmm. The way it was set up, it's like, oh, it's a you know a um, RPG style game with yeah, like you know, Destiny, characters. like kind of like Destiny, yeah. if you will. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, oh no, it's a fucking hero shooter. Game. It's a hero. It's like yeah. It's like where oh, it's like how. Mm-hmm. Your trailer did not connect to hero shooter. Mm-hmm. Right. It's an arena hero shooter, right? And um, yeah. It just did not like pretty much everything that went wrong happened, right? The marketing was bad. The character designs are bad. The sort of hype was terrible. Um, it had a price tag for something that was supposed to be live service, right? When everything else, um, competing with has no price on it other than it's yeah free to play and yeah, you know, your time, but yeah, it's like who, who would want to pay 40 bucks and to put their time into a game like this with terrible, terrible designs, mid gameplay and just zero sense of style, right? No theme, no nothing. It's just kind of just like, hey, we have a hero shooter live service. It's from PlayStation. Go play it. Nobody wanted to fucking play this. Unappealing. Everything about that about the game went wrong, pretty much. Um, yeah, it flops so fast. It's crazy. Um, yeah, like. Even even if it did when it went free to play, it's like I don't think the game would have lasted that much longer. Personally, I I don't think because the gameplay sucks, right? And when a game is not fun enough, then all else kind of gets thrown out of the window, you know. And again, if you look at a game like Overwatch, right? That's a huge example, right? A game that has diversity, but it has the style, the look, the character designs, like very clear. Like you, like when you look at a character, it's like you know what they do. There's a story behind them. Like you can kind of get a sense of a of a identity, right? With each of the characters. When you look at these guys, it's like what what are they? What do they do, right? really and you would think like you would think one way but uh some of the characters are actually like completely different like there was a there was a uh there was a healer right but he was like um the plus size like um dude with like goggles and shit and um and he's supposed to be the healer right and people were like why is he the healer like uh, like when you look at him he would look like he'd he'd be like the tank you know And there's like nothing like giving away that he's a healer, you know. He's just like wearing like a what, but but plain old big blue jacket or coat, some gloves and goggles, right? It's like that's not really saying anything that he's a healer or medic or anything relating to that. And then when you look at someone like, um, uh, you know, this alien right here. With the pink hair and stuff, it's like, what? What does she do? Like, she, you know, just from like the exterior side of things, what is she? It just feels like because very. Hmm? Yeah. No, I think that'll make her better. It's like, well, she does the macarena. Oh wait, no, that that's too. Uh, <laughs> that's too um, out of the ordinary for this game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very yes, yeah, very uh, sterile. I guess you could say too. Uh, and like like we said, like or especially me, um, none of the characters were like like you want to be that character or you want to be with the character. You know, there's no like waifu factor. There's no husbando factor either. There's just so much wrong with it. There's no appeal. There's a, there's a severe lack of of appeal. And again, when you look at something like Overwatch, look at how much like fan art there is. How look at how much? Well, I, I'm afraid to, uh, I hate to say, but you know, porn of it, right? 
<laughs> prawn, right? And I've only seen, for Concord, I've only seen two. And it was like after the fact. You know what I mean? Like the, after the fact that the game is shutting down. I've only seen two pieces of fan art on Twitter. Nobody wanted to put their time into this game in in out of it, right? Like nobody would want to draw the characters. Fan art. None of it, you know? That definitely does say something. When Overwatch came out, dozens and dozens and dozens of fucking fan art, right? I mean, it was great. Don't get me wrong. There was a shit ton of it. Especially with like Widowmaker, Mercy, Diva, Tracy's. Tracer. Um, but Tracer yeah, was. Yeah. Yeah, Tracer. Mm -hmm. No. No, I don't, I don't think that it even stopped that train. Say, like, oh, did you know Tracer has a girlfriend? No. Eh, we, were, we were already making her like kiss Widowmaker already. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lesbian, who cares, right? Like, they're hot. You know, they're, those characters are hot. They're they're like white. They're they, people wanted to, uh, or people saw them as waifus, right? The female characters of Overwatch as a, as waifus, and then you know even Zarya got some uh, attention, you know, right? And that's a character that's like a little more on the um, sort of diverse big woman, big woman, mm -hmm. the DEI side, like that kind of thing. But it's done more tastefully, you know. You, she has a identity. She has character. She has a personality of sorts, right? That does set her apart from the rest in a way. So, um, of course, the same with the male characters. You know, Reinhardt, Reaper, right? Hanzo, Genji. You know, especially those two. God damn, right? Um. McCree, right? Those are all like really cool characters, you know. But you have you have this guy, right, on the on the very left. It's like, yeah, he's trying to be cool, but like I don't know, the, the rest of the design is just uh. Not... Is that Seer from fucking right Apex? Right, it looks like Seer. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Somebody looked at Seer and be like, yeah, you know. Uh, let's put let's put a this blue coat over it and add some like add a gun, this weird CD player like, thing on the chest. Now yeah. that you say it, now that I really look at it, it looks like you know like how the '80s movies when they think of future, these are the clothes that we'll be wearing. That's see, that's the thing, right? Like a lot of people thought this was going to be like a retro space themed hero space shooter, but like it's just they didn't really like go with it they didn't capitalize on that see if they, they just said that this is space clothes mm -hmm. get used to it it's like, mm -hmm. no. yes exactly it's kind of just like they're you're, you're kind of like getting you're like nailing it they're just kind of like wearing clothes they're not really like rocking it like if it had like uh when you know you know those like 80s like space movie sound effects and stuff like that and even like yeah the filters i think this game would have had a lot more potential and then even throwing like the fifties like space sound effects, you know, like that 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 the you know not not, a, not that whistle, but like you know the the that that sound right um that you always hear in those old movies when they're like in space or something like when or like UFOs are flying around and shit, you know. Oh yeah, that, that the, okay. Ooh, I had you know, to like yeah, yeah. I had to like think about it. Like oh wait wait I, I, yeah. I can hear it now. <laughs> yeah. Like if it if they went more towards that direction, I think that would have been better. Like like it and um and be goofy about it, right? Like those movies are absolutely goofy and cheesy. If they were absolutely like sticking to those sort of notes, then yes. And then like and it also then doesn't help the fact that these characters look realistic. You know, it, they just kind of went with a very basic, realistic style, realism. That's also an issue as well. Again, with yeah, Overwatch, like, yeah, like Overwatch is like uh, cartoony, but also has yeah. some realism with the armor, right? Like someone said, like 
after they looked at Concord, they and I cannot find that tweet. It's like, was this the testing ground of autopiloting, having an AI autopilot the game? Mm-hmm. Of the designing, I was like, mm-hmm. right. <laughs> But again, like, there's there's so much wrong with this game that it looked like whoever was the leader or the director of this Mm -hmm. did not have any direction. All all he had on the wall was space. Mm -hmm. Like, well, what else? Apparently, that's Ryan Ellis, who I believe is has a resume of sorts um let me see video games um so was yeah destiny he he did he did destiny 2 he did halo reach right like okay so he has space theme games under his belt mm mm-hmm. mhm how the fuck did he drop the box? I mean, it could have been him, but also just like I don't know, it might have been the execs. Like, or it saying, could be um, yeah, execs. Um, what's it called? Interference. Interfering, yeah, with the design philosophies, and that's why that's why it took like eight fucking years. I'm sure they're like trying to do one thing, and then Sony is like, no, do do this, like, you know what I mean? Because this this was this this was eight years of development, which means. This was start. This started development when Overwatch One was out, which means they're trying to really cap, um, get in on the train, but they got on that train too late. They missed the train. Yeah, pretty much. They, they missed the train, and also, it this this game came. Well, the announcement in the trailer came in, came in like right after Marvel Rivals. You know. Yes. So took to the field so it was like night and day pretty much but like <laughs> you you asking some like kid kid on you know on on the street all right all right little johnny based on these two um games you know by showing the, the picture yeah which one looks more more fun to you by just based on the that one okay. yeah marvel rivals yeah because yeah, it's it's an, it's an established IP. I mean, I guess the only credit I'll give is that they're trying to do a new IP, right? But man, they boy did they drop the ball, right? Oh well, speaking of IP, I don't know if you put that in this in this docket of um, of Sony dropping the ball on IPs as well. Oh yes, um, I heard about that. Yeah, uh, if you can link me that, then that'd be great because that's but also I kind of think related. Simmons I think Simmons uh, hmm. um like talked about it uh-huh so while while we're looking for it everyone yes so pretty much the uh, whole IP situation is pretty much what I fucking was laughing while reading it I was like wow <laughs> Sony you are Acting like fucking um, uh, Marvel, Star Wars, Star Wars, Marvel. Mm-hmm. Holy crap! Right, because one day, like saying something about like, oh, we don't, we don't have IPs or whatever that people. Yeah, we don't have any I, IPs. Well, something along the line, like we don't have any IPs currently to um, you know, pretty much cash grab or you know, like use to bring. Bring back the the players, the fans, and I'm like, Sly Cooper, mm-hmm. right? And other shit, and I'm like, yeah, Jack and Daxter, like, yeah, Jack and Daxter, yeah, <laughs> like Soul, you just, yeah, you have Soulcom, like, if you want to take the military shit, like, fucking Kill Zone, you know, what what happened to that shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, instead, so, yeah, it's yeah. like instead they're doing they're doing like um, Uncharted and Last of Us and some other few shits 
you know. God of War, I'll give, like, right, but, um... Oh, here, found it. Okay. Do you want the tweet, or do you want the... The... Uh, the, the... I'll uh, just give it the article. Just get, yeah, yeah, article's fine. Uh... Okay. Let's slap that in there. No, right there, <laughs> right? That big ass boat. Sony does not have enough original IP. And, and, and you know, a lot of people fucking like went on their ass. Like, mm -hmm. you have Infamous, Killzone, yes. SOCOM, uh, Resistance, mm -hmm. Sly Cooper, you know, like, what the fuck? He's like, what the fuck do you mean you don't have any IP? Yeah, probably. What they meant was like, yeah, they think those IPs aren't appealing to today's audience or something. I think that's what they're trying to say, but bro. I don't know, man. I, I think even then that's pretty short sighted. You have fucking shit in your in your toolbox, like of course. Oh, yeah, here. I'm gonna hmm? but I'm gonna name like someone put a list like okay, go current ahead. um not current, but like not used IP mm -hmm. under Sony's banner. Yeah. I'm just gonna like it's a big list, so I'm yeah, just gonna yeah. grab Ape Escape, mm -hmm. Dark Cloud, uh fucking uh Fat Princess, mm -hmm. Gravity Rush, mm -hmm. Heavy Rain, mm -hmm. Infamous, Jack and Daxter, Killzone. Loco Roco, come on. Right. Papa da Rapa. Nope. <laughs> Hats upon fucking bring back um rhythm games. It's doing okay. It's doing well for fucking Nintendo with the um Taiko drum yes. drummer um game. Mm -hmm. Sly Cooper, so calm the seals. Fucking redo the last guardian. Like not full on redo it, but just make the controls better. Right. Twisted Metal, you you have the TV show. Why isn't there a new Twisted Metal game? Mm -hmm. uh, if they brought this back, like a whole brand new, like a re remake, like full on remake, if they put the money in, Legend of the Dragoon, fucking, I'll buy that in a heartbeat. Yes, yeah. So, so again. get the gist of it, yeah. Sony is definitely um They're definitely not dying. It's just like, oh man, that's a that's a fuck up. They are definitely in the fuck up right now and you know. It's like Definitely it's is like, a, Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's like the the upper execs, it's like they don't know what what or who their main audience is. They think they know, but they yeah, don't. Yeah, they really don't. Which again, they're, they're dinosaurs. Yeah. It definitely, yeah, and then, you know, the whole, like, modern audience, <laughs> you know, the term modern audience is becoming like that slang, right? Um, because uh, whoever you know, whoever decides, like, okay, we we should make this game appealing to the modern audience, right? Which basically is a is a a handful of people who think like, oh, adding diversity into these games will, you know. Um, help the game sell or whatever, right? Uh, or please audiences because it's friendly yeah. or whatever, right? Or correct and stuff like that. But it just winds up like alienating the core audience, right? The gamers because gamers don't really care about like the politics for the most part or like, you know, those the, the realities, right? The, the stuff from reality because people want to play games to escape from them, you know? I mean, you can have politics in your game as long as it fits like the world. That it, it's it, yeah, it's, if it's done it. tastefully, but it's like if you're going to, yeah, but you can't just like, you know, force it right in people's faces, like, you know what I mean? So, 
like every like everything can be done right it's just you gotta know how to implement it you have to write it right that's a that's a big thing about these modern projects now nowadays it's just like the writing is terrible right so for movies you know tv shows and games is uh definitely no exception i would say right like just stick stick to 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 your guns right it could be a pun or whatever but um and the game will sell just fine right because if you if you try to appeal to the whole like modern quote unquote modern audience or the dei people or whatever right the diverse people um they, most of those people aren't really gamers so they're they're just they are tourists um they're they are just out to be like oh you know i i i love everybody i love people i i you know i celebrate diversity look at me hashtag whatever the fuck right free this boycott that you know that kind of crap right when most of them are doing it just for the clout or just to feel good or whatever right and uh whatever well, for clout mm -hmm. or um clickbait and clickbaiting like... exactly it's just engagement online engagement when in real life, they have nothing to accomplish for themselves because they just don't know, or they they don't have enough talent, or or just lack the the real sort of They're, sense. They, yeah, they lack they lack the resources mm -hmm. to actually have a um not deep. What's the word? A genuine mm -hmm. say on on subjects like this. Yeah. Right. It, it's like, I don't know. Company Companies just need to stop giving in relax. to those. Yeah, relax. <laughs> you know, give it up on the whole please everybody mentality and just like, just make a fucking game, dude. Make a fucking game or if you want to please people, I'm going to bring Capcom in it. Just have your, 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 um, your section. You have your fighting game section, mm -hmm. BG sections. You have the uh, miscellaneous se um, section where it will be like, uh, freaking break like shooter games and stuff like that, or arcade shooters. Right. I mean, you know, um. And we, you know, and we can go back to Overwatch. Like, we, you can do all those things, right? But you gotta yeah. just know your audience. You know, put the work into it. Put the character designs in there, right? Make the gameplay fun, and then we can celebrate the diversity, right? And diversity, you know, could can come from a lot of things. Like, it could be the gameplay of itself, or it could be just like, oh, I don't know, just like different kinds of things. You know, you have like a robot. You have a fucking you literally have a fucking hamster in a in a giant robot ball looking thing, right? You know stuff Which like I that. I don't know how um, how artists is uh, was like. I'm gonna make this hamster hot. Oh God! And they drew they drew um, tax returns. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously you have the robots, right? You have the Omni. Uh, what was it? What are they called? Omnimax or whatever. Uh, the Omnics. Omnics. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's Zenyatta, blah, 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 right? Um, yeah, I that. would smash Ramada. <laughs> Ramacha. And funny because the Omnics are kind of like the woke um, people or whatever, right? Because they actually are going through some sort of social issues, right? So it's kind of like the same with uh, X-Men. The mutants face some sort of discrimination shit because they're different from, well, humans and such, you know? That's based, yes, and that is based off of real life, but at least it makes sense, right? So, um, the point I think is that you gotta put your brain into it. It's not just like just toss it in there like the like these characters. You can't just toss on some clothes and uh, some cool thing, random things, and call it a day because that's what it kind of looks like here. It's like, oh, let's throw some throw some clothes on. Oh, yeah, let's make this 
chick right here with round glasses that look kind of goofy or whatever. And then the big pauldron shoulder fucking coat. Call it a day. Oh, yeah. Some Afro, purple Afro stuff. Call it a day. And then, oh, yeah. Make this alien dude uh, human because that's all we can do. <laughs> and then, you know, um, make him green. Throw on a fucking random orange vest and call it a day. Oh, yeah. Make him kind of kind of like a Han Solo slash whatever daring dashing quote unquote space shooter guy is right yeah Yeah. because he's got the revolver so like you know um that's my at least that's my interpretation um and apparently he likes hot sauce i don't know right some random shit yeah likes hot sauce and spitting out the hot sauce (laughs) (laughs) right yeah gotta gotta put the brain into it gotta put the actual passion behind it right you know, yeah, I make things make sense pretty much. And, um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. And meanwhile, we have games like Black Myth Wukong and then the Space Mar- uh, Space Marine 2, right? Yeah. Those are like slapping right now, you know, from what I've seen. Have you seen Space Marine 2? That shit looks crazy. It looks good, but because it's part of a Warhammer, right? Yes. The Warhammer um, franchise. Yes. I have zero knowledge mm-hmm. of Warhammer, so yeah. I don't want to go into some, like, this is my only, this is my personal take on mm-hmm. I, I would, I would like to go into the game, but I don't want to be like, because I have a friend who loves Warhammer. I don't want to be like calling him like three in the morning, but like, so... I'm at this part, they were talking about this one night. Who is he? And then, you know, be on a three hour phone call of like Mm -hmm. the life of this, this space night and shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or this space battle. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, it falls on to like, do I need to do homework? Yeah. I don't know, man. I like, it's a kind of like, well, it's a little bit like Marvel. Like, do I need to do homework? It's like, oh yeah, really? As long as you know of, you know, the character, then you know, you right, it'll be a, you'll be safe. But, but like again, the M, I'm gonna bring up the MCU. Yes, you gotta do. You have homework. I'm so sorry. You, mm-hmm. you have homework, or you've just watched like someone do a uh, quick synopsis or summary of like. From Iron Man one up to like the latest uh, Marvel show, yeah, and hopefully they pinpoint like everything you know that needs to be discussed. Yeah, yeah, and then That's like a- yeah, um, funny you bring up like Marvel stuff because that's also kind of like what's going on too. Like you have like a movie like Deadpool three doing or Deadpool excuse me Deadpool and Wolverine, um, doing very well. Right, because it sticks to his guns. No pun intended, but yeah. And, yeah. and it stick to one, technically one universe, which is the X-Men universe. Right, but even then, it's still, it still it, it sticks to the, the same tone that you expect from Deadpool, right? They don't change up Deadpool, yeah. make him be like, oh, you know, I don't know. Um, I identify as this or something or whatever the hell. Uh, other... I wanted Deadpool to be more flirty, just, just a bit. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Deadpool again, is. If you read, yeah. I mean, if you read the, <laughs> sorry, if especially you read, with Colossus. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like I wanted to see more of Colossus's love mm-hmm. to Wolverine. Oh, <laughs> but you just see Wade just like every time trying to like give a pep talk. He's like, "It's okay, honey. Mm-hmm. It's okay, I love you." But Colossus has his eyes on uh, Wolverine or Logan. <laughs> Which yeah. is like, hey, what the fuck? That's my Canadian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you have a movie like that doing very well. And then you had a movie like Borderlands that's doing so fucking terrible that I believe it's going digital. Yeah, it's going already. digital. Like, I think 
by next month. Yeah, by next month or just soon, right? That's kind of like what's going on here. It's already been shut down. I don't think it will come back. They'll probably have this like as like a tax write off, and that's it. That's all. There, that's all there is going to be to it. Maybe. May can yeah, they do a tax write off or something that's already existing or that already came to the market or something? I don't know. I don't know how that stuff completely works, but yeah, I just feel sorry for the developer. Oh, because... for sure, yeah, because it's like eight years yeah, they... down the drain. <laughs> So let's say the senior um, art director of the game wanted to, you know, go to another um, studio and stuff. I know you can pick and choose what to put on your resume, but yeah, right. Your workplace will do the research if they want it. Yeah, and go like, oh, I see you work on Kong Kong. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they would just be like, mm. I mean, they'll definitely point it out, but I don't. <laughs> I don't well, most of those companies will be like, yeah, okay, you did this. We, you know, all right, you know, you did a job, whatever, right? So, um, and then maybe some of them yeah. will be like, oh, you did Concord. Uh, yeah, some of them will right. be like the hard asses. They like, oh, you did a, you, you did a wash. Like yeah. your game was a wash. Yeah. I, we don't want that in our studio. You yeah. know, we want bangers. We want bangers. We're like, oh, mm -hmm. right after, one after the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, it no. I think mostly the anger is definitely more on the execs for sure, and um, especially after that quote, right? With the oh, we don't know if IP, whatever the fuck, right? So that definitely, um, I think the anger is um, well aimed for the most part. Uh, for yeah, you know, with like some ex exceptions, but there's always an exception. But anyway, so. Rip, rest in peace, Concord. I don't think it will be missed, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, um, I I think it definitely went had to go back to the drawing board, right? Also, again, for it to be in for eight years development, yeah, which is probably like with you know side by side with Overwatch, it's like something we would. Horribly wrong during oh, the early development. Sure. Oh, for sure. I'm sure. <laughs> the I'm development sure, yeah. age. I'm sure this game was like one direction, and then the execs came in and be like, "Oh yeah, uh, could we actually make it like this, like, like this, uh, like space and kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy or something?" Because that also uh, was a huge hit. You know, I'm sure like they were trying to like, uh, like they were trying to capitalize. Yeah. They're trying to like capitalize on every fucking trend that came along the way, which is why it probably took eight years to make. And they're just like, um, yeah, we kind of have to go back to the drawing board then to fit, you know? Oh yeah, they, again, yeah. yeah, there's. I the, can't wait for fucking Matt McMuscles. Uh, what happened? What happened? No, what happened? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's gonna that's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you got more, you got a couple more of these characters, right? Not looking too appealing for the most part. Yeah, such a shame, such a shame. Oh no! Like, yeah, anyway, like... <laughs> yeah, modern audience. <laughs> yeah. Some of the modern audience are like, um, going about hey, it. You sure this? Huh? It's like you sure this was for, made for me? <laughs> right. Well, I was gonna say like some of the modern audience people are like, oh, this is this is this is a terrible loss. Uh, th this is a uh, this is bad for I don't know the fucking, um, because all those other gamers that hate shit won or whatever. I don't know. I forgot. I forgot the whole. I've got the exact like complaint, but um, it... <laughs> like I'm sorry for you, modern uh, tourists. If you can't really like see, like, hey, this looks like it's going to be dead on arrival, and it does become dead on arrival. Maybe just <laughs> sit this one out. Yeah. I think that's really honestly they sh what they should do. 
Right, it's cold now. I love you, AC, but I keep forgetting I put you on freaking glass. <laughs> Okay. Oof. Well, anyway, hopefully, hopefully, Concord is a wake up call to be like, yeah, we're gonna step back and stop doing the whole like political correctness type of stuff or DEI, whatever the whatever the hell, and just make games, single player or whatever. You know, not live servicey, no or too much um, microtransactions, that type of stuff. But we'll see. I think we talked about it quite a bit, which I had a feeling. Um, <laughs> this one. Yes, yeah, speaking of other bad games, right? Rock City uh, begun layoffs due to poor performance of Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Over half of the quality assurance team has been let go, plus multiple other staff members. One member was let go during their fraternity leave. Jesus, man, you know. This is more of like um, the, the the dev team taking the hit while the execs still, you know, have their cash flow and shit. Seems like anyway. Trying to, you know, place the blame kind of on um, the devs rather than the execs. Um, when, yeah, the execs have to be fired and then keep the devs, right? It should be the other way around. But also another game that's been uh, kind of shamed out the ass, right? Because, you know, live service done poorly the inclusions of some uh number of these characters right how the game was designed blah yeah, blah blah the game was designed, right? mm -hmm. yeah. like they had the feedback they had time to you know work in the feedback but they just they they only said um company fluff words yes and then just just like eh. right and this is Rocksteady, man. They made the Arkham series, which is like some of the greatest like Batman games of all time. Yeah, and that was like the biggest nail in the coffin. This thing. Oh yeah, this is part of the Arkham series. Like no. <laughs> yeah. Do not touch that thing. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's supposed to be like canon to the Arkham universe or whatever. And yeah, this literally shits on like what um Arkham Every, yeah. everything that was established throughout those games. Yeah. Yeah, because even like they people say like, uh, oh, Harley was like very out of character during um, whatever happened in Suicide Squad or whatever, kill the Justice League. So stuff like that, it's like, ugh, you know. And then the fact that like the other characters that came in, like you know, uh, we had Mrs. Freeze, you know, who was uh, pretty much another DEI checkbox, right? Um. Instead of just like, you know, actually bringing in actual female villains, if we're gonna, you know, have female villains. And then people did not like Joker of how he was implemented. Um, yep. And then who was supposed to be the other one? I guess that's it, right? For right now. But yeah. Um, and then the fact that they keep like, they keep like recycling the boss battles, it's ridiculous. That is like some uh, horrible, horrible game de uh, game design practices. Yep. So all on top of uh, you know the live service, the looter shooter type of shit, and you know going away from like what made Arkham series really cool, which is the melee combat, and you know someone like King Shark is all about the melee combat, and then you know. Um, Harley could have been the in between. Of course, you know, uh, Deadshot here could have been, you know, all the shooting, right? That's fine. Boomerang could have been like the trickster, right? You know, that would have been fine. But they all shoot. They all fucking yeah. Everyone had a fucking gun. It's like why? Yeah. The only ones that should have only guns was 
Deadshot and Harley. Well, Harley's main weapon should have been her bats and her acrobatics. Mm -hmm. Boomerang is his boomerang. His name mm -hmm. is fucking Captain Boomerang. His name is not Captain Gun. Yeah, Captain Shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then you have um, Danawe, Kill Croc. Mm -hmm. It's like, why does he have a fucking gun? Right. Exactly. A lot of things, again, were wrong with this game as well, but at least this game did a little better because, yeah, this is DC, right? This is an established yeah. IP already. So they had that going. But Concord uh, had all the things going wrong. So, yeah. What's also going wrong in the world of gaming and content creation is Dr. Disrespect. Um, I don't know if you've been uh, kind of eyeballing the situation, but um, he came back from his quote unquote vacation. And now he's like pulling and pedaling back on what he said back then. Cause um, remember he did quote unquote admit that he was talking to um, uh, somebody through Twitch whispers of not of age, right? Uh, or not of legal age at the time. But now all of a sudden, um, I think there's a overview or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So he says, um, yeah, in that 20 minute video that he put up on X, I guess, or tw uh, Twitter, he pretty much says that he is not guilty of anything, right? The individual did not want to report, uh, or file a report, but Twitch pushed them to, uh, do so, I guess his old Twitch partner manager was targeting him and personally escalating the messages to Twitch's legal team after talk requested a new manager, uh, says they didn't look at the age of consent right now this is like weird right where the messages were received suggests it was timed with the a return of big streamers from mixer needing to come back like shroud and ninja and it was escalated to the national center of missing and exploited children but then uh took no action Okay, so yeah, so basically he, you know, um, also says that he purposefully put in keywords like minor and whatever, right? In order to bait, quote unquote, bait the journalists and stuff like that, that have been uh, doing him the, the, the damage, right? That have been defaming him pretty much, uh, quote unquote. So... I don't know what is really going on, what is going through his mind. Um, you know what I mean? Like, he seems like he's trying to play 4D chess in his mind, but I don't know, man. I don't know what his end game is. I don't know what he's really doing um, when the writing is kind of like on the wall that he wrote himself pretty much. And I remember the fact that he edited his tweet purposefully leaving out the word minor and then he put uh he put it back in or something because yeah he got caught yeah so it's like ah oh, man I, I don't know i don't know what his shtick is or what he's doing and then the and then um, people are like dude just show the chat log like what like what's the hold up and everything so this is he just want to be caught again I, yeah i don't know man there's a lot of uh beating around the bush for sure and um It's just confusing. And apparently, you know, like the key journalists like Cody Connors have been like the, well, that, you know, that name Cody Connors has been like the, kind of like the face of this whole leak, right, of Dr. Disrespect's situation when um, he and Twitch had settled the situation in the first place and signed a whole NDA about not speaking of this uh, situation, which is why we had the whole silence in the first place, right? After he was uh, let go or suspended, banned, whatever, from Twitch. But then Cody uh, broke the code of silence and leaked stuff about Dr. Disrespect, talking to a minor potentially and stuff. Yeah. 
But he now he's saying stuff like, yeah, um, the person I was talking to, or the individual I was talking to, was of legal age at the time and place or whatever. It's very specific wording, right? So basically, though, it's very confusing. I don't know why he's doing all this now when that should have been like corrected, all that stuff looked at before he made that post in the first place on Twitter. And then the, you know, and then, and then, you know, of, of course, because it was not quite well worded enough, he had to go try to like take out the word minor and then, but he, but he put it back in and then it's, um, it's a, it's a mess. So I will say this though, if he really believes that he is innocent, right? Um, he, he, he should try to sue, um, Cody Connors. The journalist who is essentially the biggest, you know, the na biggest name dropper, right? And then maybe potentially after, um, go after other people or in parties or whatever, but I don't know. That's his choice. But if he really believes he's, you know, in the right, he's innocent, blah, 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 all that stuff. Yeah. You pretty much he, sh he should, um, go and try to sue, uh, the journalist. And such like that. If he really is that confident, right? I'm sure he has the money for it. Um, you know, being Dr. Dis disrespect and all. And uh, I think that's like really the only way he can like kind of win his way back into it. And um, have everyone look look at everything else like, oh, is this, that's just Dr. Disrespect just making bad screw ups. and But he corrected in the end or something like that. Right. Maybe that maybe that post was a kind of a screw up of sorts because you know, by now I think I think it's clear that he makes some stupid, stupid decisions. Right. Including him like cheating on his wife, all that stuff and you know. Yep. Yeah. Um, but either way, somebody is in the wrong. Right. At least. Yeah. Right. Somebody is lying. Somebody is not telling the truth. Somebody is upholding something. Right. Definitely. And maybe Twitch is also in the wrong um, and stuff like that. And, you know, but this is his business. Not going to I'm not going to like weigh in on like oh who's guilty who's not guilty that stuff like that i'm just kind of just looking at what i'm seeing or speaking of based off of what i'm seeing what i heard from this video um which i watched most of it um from somebody's like other or somebody else's live stream so it's kind of like a react and um yeah by the way it's very very confusing Cause it's like, it looks like, it looked like he admitted to it. Right. But now he's like, oh, but they weren't a minor. And then this and this and that, oh, I did this on purpose to bait the journalists, uh, the, yeah, the, all the online news media, blah, 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 and such, um, you know, whatever it may be, maybe he has a plan. I don't know, but I'm not gonna, you know, pull my hair out and waste my time with that too much uh if you have no if you don't have any more comments for dr disrespect we can definitely move on to the rest of the stuff um let's go ahead and get these out so games news just got one for the day um kind of quick too because it is relating to Dragon Ball, right? Dragon Ball uh, Project. It says Project Multi, right? It's supposed to be a MOBA of sorts. Dragon Ball MOBA, which is basically like, yes, yeah, like League of Legends and stuff like that. And it's going to be uh, fully launching uh, next year, 2025. So one, yet again, we have another Dragon Ball game coming up. Um, I don't think th there were... There's a trailer for it. I'm not sure. There are screenshots for it. Um, yep. So, 
damn. 18 just baiting Vegeta's ass again. Uh, Why does she always punch me in the guts? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's got the standard cell shading style, you know. Um, and and then yeah, you know, there's uh lanes, right? You got the you got the bosses in whatever area. Um, yeah. It was like a 4v4, yeah. And then uh, let me see. Yeah. So far, we have um, Zamasu or whatever his name is. Got Boo, right? I think that's uh, 16. I want to say that's 16. Uh, what's this one? Who's who that? It might be a boss or something. I'm not too sure what that is, but yeah. Um. Yeah, Trunks, right? Krillin, 18, blah, 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 Pickle, of course, yeah. So, could be interesting. I don't know if I'll pick it up myself, but hey, I mean, it's Dragon Ball, and it's getting a mobile game, finally, I guess. Yeah, it, it's going to find its audience. Yeah, it'll definitely have its audience, for sure. Um... Okay, it looks like there's some sort of, like, regional beta test, which I didn't even know. Um, let me see. Okay, this is an introduction trailer. Of Peggy Twelve. No. It's time to put an end to this mockery. I don't know who's Peggy, but I think she's twelve. You really think that would stop Terrible. Me? I'd like to see you keep up with me. Peace your eyes on Super Vegeta's Big Bang Attack! Big Bang Attack! You kind of hear the age on uh, Sabat's voice <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I mean... When you think of it, like, yeah, Saiyans are supposed to, like, age slowly, but I think for, like, because he's been screaming a lot. Yeah. And, you know, he's a family man. Give him that gruff voice already. Yeah, right. So, yeah, it's already, like, kind of showing off, like, the skills and stuff for Super Saiyan Vegeta. Mm -hmm. It's kind of consecutive. Energy blast, photon bomber, explosive wave, and big bang attack. So, kind of get in that gist, uh, a good gist of what's going on here. Oh, you get, oh, there's like, yes, there's live service stuff, like, you get skins or colors. Um, you get helpers, I guess. Okay, so I guess these are like assist characters, maybe, possibly. And then mm -hmm. the emote uh, for the start of the game, I guess. You get, you get emotes, okay. So gotta kind of get a sneak peek of what the live service will be like. Uh, they have there's a kid Gohan as a character with the uh, what do you call the bolt the bowl haircut from the Frieza saga. Um. Oh yeah, let me ask you something. I guess it's a short conversation piece but um what do you prefer for kid gohan like do you like the bowl haircut do you like the long hair like the spiky hair or like um the haircut he got when uh for i guess teen gohan i prefer his short hair when he's um in high school Oh, oh, that's you like the the here. spike? That's like the the, the spiked. The, the small spike, because that's how mm -hmm. my hair was. Like, but it, you know, I have somebody to relate to. Mm -hmm. yes, the bold yeah. haircut was pretty much what I've seen other, like, um, Asian you know kids would mm -hmm. have, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, you 
Little... I kind of had the boy haircut a little bit. Kind of. Not quite, but right. it was kind of, uh, kind of like that. Yeah. Not quite hardcore, like straight like his, but um, the shape overall was very, yeah, very round. Yeah. Um. If we're, if we're gonna talk about just T Kid Gohan, I like the long hair better. Like it's just, it's, I don't know, it just has more more a more character to it. But I mean, you know, it's it's like a the thing of its time kind of thing. Like, yeah, you know, this is from Frieza's saga. That's the way, way you remember him as. That's pretty much the gist of that. But, yeah, I I do also like the adult Gohan hair because it's pretty simple, but it looks cool. Um, Especially when he goes, mist, uh, what do you call it? Mystic Gohan or whatever you call it. He has the, the one bang hanging on his, like, face or whatever. I like that. It's like that simple little touch, you know. And he has a spiky hair. Um. So yeah. Uh. Oh, there's cooler, I guess, too. So. Oh. 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 Wow. He actually is a playable character. That's nice. And he will be in his um. Oh yeah. There you go. He'll be in his uh final form. Let's get down to business. Let's. Yeah. Let's. 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 let us let us let us let us let us let Probably like one of the best or the best designed villain, because the the the, yeah. the headpiece, the mask, the shoulders, everything. Man, he looks so sick. Yep. Then then you look at his little brother mm -hmm. uh, Frieza. I was like, mm. <laughs> he's like, yeah. Mm. I think the fact that he is his brother also adds to the motif too. But yeah, I mean, it, this just looks so so cool. No, you know, I still, I, I, I still like Perfect Cell, but yeah. I still think that Cooler would have like a lot of like, let's say, <laughs> against Frieza's, uh, huh? which still makes me laugh that some people can't realize that Frieza's kind of racist. Yes, he's pretty racist. <laughs> yes, Unhinged. I do want to see like. Yeah. Like, you know, Cooler just minding his own business and stuff, and then he's just gonna, he's just gonna, look, brother, look at all these monkeys. <laughs> just hands him. It'd be, yeah, it'd be really funny did... <laughs> if, yeah, Frieza is the blatant racist, and then he's, like, the one that's, like, um, not, you know? <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, like he, he just considers everyone just, like, equal. He hates everyone equally, pretty he, much. Yeah, <laughs> he, he hates everyone equally, don't, don't care about it's like, mm -hmm. Once Frieza goes like, look at these monkeys. <laughs> Just slaps. You shut your mouth. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. uh, who taught you that word? <laughs> yeah. Probably. It was Pro our father. Yeah, probably King Cole. I think King Cole is probably like the biggest, literally the biggest racist because he is really big. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> like. It was father. He taught me how to be like this. You see King Cole like just like hiding. Mm -hmm. I am really curious, like if King Cold has a final form of sorts, what would it look like and such? A bitch. <laughs> yeah. Well, too bad. Yeah, too bad because he got blasted to pieces by Trunks before he even got to do anything. But man, cooler, cooler needs to come back in the movie or something, man. They need to hurry up and make him or give him the. Uh, yeah, they need. <laughs> He needs to be a canon already. Yeah. They need to just give him the uh, the Super Brawly treatment. And then, you know, have Frieza and him interact with each other. Oh my god, I want to see that so bad. Uh, 
Um, oh wow, they actually like drop a lot of characters here, but yeah. Oh yeah, the the great ape or giant ape is yeah the big boss or whatever. I forgot what they're called in the uh, like League of Legends or whatever. You know, the, you know you have like that you have that big boss in the middle or some shit, and then when you defeat him, you get stuff. <laughs> I know Pokemon does that for sure. That Pokemon mobile game. All right, I think we can. Move on from there. Yep. Cooler needs his own movie. That's all, I, that's all I'm going to say. Again. Alright. Uh, One last thing. Um, We are actually quite uh, blasting through this uh, thing. There's a bit of a, dr bit, of a <laughs> bit of a dry season for this week. Unlike um the weather right now because it's pretty humid. But <laughs> um, visual entertainment news. Let me see. There is one thing to definitely talk about, and it's the uh, Minecraft movie. Um, yes. Uh, have you seen the Minecraft? I have not seen the trailer. I just seen one picture of um. Yes, the llama one thing. of the um actress. Oh, oh. And people are just going fucking ballistic. Oh, I know what you're talking about. With yes. The, with like the full, like you can tell, this is full, full of racism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like. Yeah, it was such a like blatant like, like oh my god, why like why why is she here or some shit or like why is this black woman here or something? I don't know, man. Oh no, a black person, it's gonna yeah. fail. It's like, mm -hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> also, people bitching about. Jason Momoa's, oh, um, like, what he's wearing is like, what the fuck you mean? That's what he's been wearing. You guys are just now fucking picking and choosing what you see. And yes, the sheep thing. What? That's why I would say shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I am Steve. <laughs> okay. Oh, this guy is such a tool bag. No, because Jason Momoa is wearing like that pink, you know, jacket and stuff. I wouldn't mind him if he uh, did like a. Uh, What's it called? Like a parody of Dora the Explorer. Like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so it's coming out, I'm assuming, next year of April 4th, so... Only in theaters. Should have been April 1st, you know, to make it more funny. Yeah, yeah I think that should have been done, but it's. I, I'm pretty sure April 4th is on the Friday, it seems like. I don't know. Yeah. Um, what's like your big takeaway though for the for the movie as as a whole? It's definitely gonna be for somebody or some people. It's not. It's not for me. Right. It's like um, I, I love you, Jason Momoa, and um, and Jet Black, and you know the others. But yeah. it's not. It's not for me because one, I I wasn't really into Minecraft, so just. Yeah, I played a little bit, and I just thought it was just okay, but it's not, definitely not for me. Um, I know people were trying to get me into it, but I just wasn't feeling it as a as a game. I mean, seeing what people can create in Minecraft is beautiful. Oh yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Just like the creativity is definitely there. Like the sandbox thing, I do respect, but I'm not that kind of person <laughs> to have like the patience to make that kind of stuff. Um. I'd rather do something else, really, but... Um, yeah, it's pretty much like you're saying. It's like, I'm pretty sure, like, maybe kids will want to watch this. Um, I mean, there are some neat 
things that are being incorporated, kind of like the real life thing. But yep. um, yeah, with that man, that wolf looks strange too. I, I don't know. It, it, it looks like it's just again, it it's gonna find its audience, right? I think this will do. I I mean, I think this movie will definitely do better than something like Borderlands, but um. It this already has like that uh what do you call it? like that Jumanji thing the, the the new Jumanji movie, I think it's just gonna be that kind of movie, and uh, uh it won't be anything else beyond that. It's like a kids movie or tween movie or whatever you call it. You know, like the twelve year olds and such. Maybe. Uh, I wonder if kids today play Minecraft. Yeah. Oh, like. The now generation, the now like generation, kids? yeah, probably like, because you, yeah, so, mm -hmm. there are those, yeah. I think though the adults are not gonna watch it or at least enjoy fully with this movie because this is definitely not for them. I feel. I think this is definitely more towards like the kids for sure. Like, I, like, you know, what's the deal? Is there supposed to be some sort of deal with the, the, the pink jacket and the, the wig and stuff like that for Jason Moore or? So uh, it, it's um pretty much like the characters that you see mm -hmm. are supposed, supposed to be like the avatars, you know, that is uh, already established in the game. Okay. Okay. So it's okay. So it's like referencing the, the, the main character stuff. Okay. So like again, Jet Black because of he's wearing the the blue t shirt and stuff. That's Steve, Oddly, yeah. As he said, mm -hmm. he said Steve. And then, yeah. You know, you look at the other um characters like, oh, okay, so that's that's you, and then this is this one. Right. Okay. Very interesting cast, I guess. But, hmm, there are some neat designs, like the pigs right here, and then the, uh, I forgot what these were called, the, these floating things. Um, of course, you gotta have the Enderman and the, uh, the creepers and such. God, that wolf looks weird. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I think this is just gonna be like a gi giant CGI fest and... A lot of like, what do you call it? like the shaking the keys? Like, oh look, hey, there's stuff happening on the screen, kind of stuff. And I think kids and families will like it because because of the just a bunch of computer <laughs> effects. I don't know. It looks pretty much like look, bitch, look. Yeah, that's the thing. Right. I wonder why they didn't really go with like a more um style more interesting stylish movie like make it more like a um like maybe De bravely Def no, not bravely default what was it called it was like pri um I'm forgetting the name again but it's like Octopath or something make it kind of like that with like an interesting mm -hmm. depth of field and then like add um. That you know the whole blockiness to it, pixely kind of thing, or make it more kind of like kind of like like the Lego movies, right? Because there's just Legos, you know. There's no people, right? Like it's um, I I, I kind of wish they went more for that, but you know you gotta have the big celebrities, right? Like Jack Black and Jason Momoa, so. Um, hmm. Because right now it's like mm, just some people with clothes on. It's what it was. What I it's what I kind of see. You know, to me, just from just from like judging off of this stuff. And then Jack Black is just Jack Black. You know, Steve is. I mean, sure, like Steve never really had a personality. It's just an avatar or whatever. But still, it's just Jack Black to me. It's what I kind of see. And also, because my mind's already baked into like isekais and stuff, mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> this feels like a decent time movie. Yes. It's just done a little bit wrong. Yeah, like, we don't know what's really, like, why they're here, you know, that sort of stuff. Oh, look. The cube. It's it's the cube from Transformers. <laughs> um, what was it called? The Allspark or whatever? <laughs> nah, it's a Tesseract. Tesseract, yeah. yeah. Which has a space stone. <laughs> yeah. I actually don't mind the the animals, kind of. Yes, they look weird, but I think they're trying to embrace the weirdness to it. It's not like they're trying to make it like realistic, quote unquote, like super realistic, but make it really creepy looking. I think it has that the right factor of the creepiness and the fact that it's refer referencing from the video game. Uh, where was the other one? Um, what was that shot? That everyone's talking about. Uh, was it early on? Let me see. Just trying to like skim through it. Oh, there you go. That's the one. Yeah, this is this is the the screenshot everyone's been talking about. Like, oh my god, what is this? Blah blah blah. But um, yeah, I think definitely the realism is what's definitely making it really creepy. But um, to me, it's kind of like the creepiness done right kind of thing. So I don't, I don't hate it, but I definitely do think it's like, you know, at least something to make fun of for sure. Like I, like I will roast the share this design, but yeah, you know. <laughs> but it's not like, you know, it's not like it's uh, the end of the world kind of type of shit. Uh, but. I think the fact that this is supposed to be like some sort of live action shit, that's what's really like not appealing to me, definitely. Um yeah. If they if they went with like a Lego movie kind of approach, like have mm -hmm. you know the already pre existing is designs but be a little more artistic about it, I think that would have been better for sure. But again, you gotta like show off the celebrities you know be hollywood right to um you know appeal to those audiences at least what they think in their mind anyway oh but it's a warner brothers movie oh joy oh joy oh joy apparently um there's like other people in here too um let me see Jared Hess. Uh, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Let me see. Direct. Directed with Roy Lee. Okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Jared Hess, I believe, is the director for it. Okay. That's what's going on. Uh, let me look up this, the character real quick with the pink um, jacket. Mm. Yeah. Let me go ahead and see the what do you call it, the dislikes and stuff like that cuz I have a feeling um Minecraft movie trailer. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. 1.2 million people dislike this movie. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. Cool. <laughs> Woof. Yeah. We bullied Paramount into redesigning Sonic. Can we bully Warner Brothers into redesigning their entire movie? You know... I think as much as I would like to see that, this is Warner Brothers we're talking about, so I think no. I don't think that's going to happen. 
Dear movie companies, if you don't like having money, you can always just send it to me. <laughs> when the world needed it most, the dislike counter disappeared. Eh, well, unless you download some sort of third party app or um, extension, you can see it. Or at least get an idea. How brave of Warner Brothers leaving the comment section open? I love how they hired the roundest man for a square character. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. I like that. I can't believe I might have to apologize to Minecraft Story Mode. Okay, so start Minecraft Story Mode is the uh, Telltale game for um, the Minecraft stuff. I remember playing like a couple episodes. It was actually pretty good. Like, people were kind of hating on it back in the day, but now it's like... Oh, like, oh, I must apologize. Oh, you know, that's a little trend. That ain't Steve. That's Steven. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the comments are definitely mostly negative for sure. Unironically, I I think watching the cast of the movie just play Minecraft would would be better than watching this movie. Honestly, at that point, yeah, I can kind of agree on that. Just do a let's play. Yeah, do a let's play exactly. Um, they gave Jack Black a blue shirt and called it a day. When Mr. Beast videos suddenly seem watchable. <sighs> Damn. Mm. Yep. Um, yeah. I went through the seven stages of grief in one minute and 20 seconds. Oh, Ooh. man. Oof. Low res Jumanji. <laughs> uh, man. This is another characters that are from the real world end up in a different world and spend the whole movie trying to get back home while fighting against an evil group that is in their way or wants to stop them type of movie, isn't it? Yeah. I think that is. Yeah. <laughs> At the very least, it looks more entertaining than Harold and Purple Crayon. Oh my god, I heard that film. That's horrible too. And it's that actor who played um Shazam. Oh my god, I feel sorry for him, man. Zachary Levi Levy? Levi? I I think so. American Isekai. Got it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, there you go. It's the Isekai. I'm the isekai. Mm -hmm. To end all isekais. Yeah. I th yeah. Mm -hmm. Oof. Um. Okay, maybe I, I will take back some of my statement. Maybe. I don't know if this will... Oh, you know what, though? I think... I, oh, my God. I heard from Todd and other people that apparently this movie co has is, uh, is rumored to have cost them a billion dollars to make. A billion. Oh, oh yeah. But look at the um, fucking. And I wonder how how many of that billion actually goes to the um cop, you know, the shareholder of um, you know, Minecraft, the the owner. Right. I think yeah, because like they had to pay the license for like Minecraft. Yeah. So. Oh my God. This this movie this movie is not gonna not gonna succeed. I think it'll only make back the money, but not actually make money. At at best. Cause it, I love it's called a Minecraft movie. A Minecraft movie. Let me see. It sounds like a like uh what's it called? 
like a Hallmark <laughs> fiction movie. Yeah. With that subtitle. Yeah. It's like, like Steve. A fan, yeah, like a fan film. Steve. A Dude. Minecraft movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me see. Da, 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 da. Distributed. Um. License. Yeah, dude, this should have this should have been gone to this should have gone to Netflix. I don't know. Netflix or it should have been a full on CGI animated movie. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. Or do something a little yeah, like I said, like something a little more stylish, like the Lego movies. Like it it looks like it's stop stop motion, but it's not I don't think it's not really, right? Because it's supposed to be CGI. But let me make it look like stop motion or yeah, stop motion. Um yeah, I'm definitely not finding the budget for, uh, for it, but that's what I heard anyway. That's alleged for now, for right now. And that if that is the case, oops, um, oops. Mm. Okay, that's from 2014, so no. Um, let me see. Blah, blah, blah. Budget, there you go. What is the budget and what does he do? Yeah. <laughs> Who is your budget and what does he do? Hmm. Okay, so I don't know where the bi the billion dollar thing came from, but I guess it has a preliminary budget of 150 million, which sounds a little more realistic. Yeah, I don't. But yeah, maybe 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 it did not... maybe it did end up costing a billion dollars or something with all the licensing and less celebrities and the marketing and production hmm. and i guess the you know money wise or it might get back something something but i don't think it's gonna break even you don't think it's gonna break even yeah i i think i think at yeah i think at the very best this will just make back the money but it'll take a while to get the money back because yeah because i don't know if it'll do well internationally either yeah i yeah we'll see we'll see i pray to god that it's not a billion dollar budget because that that means it's really going to lose money and uh Warner Brothers and everyone else will be in a shithole if they haven't been already. Yep. All right. So that's about it for the major stuff. Um, was there anything else that you wanted to bring up by any means? If there's like anything else you caught today or we haven't talked about. Mm hmm. Oh, have you watched Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice? Or are you planning to watch it? Not. I'm planning to, so okay. not yet. So. Okay. Okay. Mm. Anything else? No. Okay. okay. Pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. A bit of a dry week, except for yeah. a couple things, for sure. Yep, yep. Yep. Oh yeah, I heard about the new Joker movie being like not great. It's like a, it's like a, it got a five from IGN, so that's gotta say something, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
are you are you are you planning to watch that one as well or or no yeah oh you are okay yeah it's, yeah let me know how that goes oh yeah this is this is um Mar space marine too this looks fucking crazy this opening sequence apparently now i want to see this be run on a uh on a switch oh <laughs> god it's gonna just be eight frames a second, man. No, you're just gonna smell something it's like. What's that smell? Yeah, it's like that electronic smoke. I... Yeah, it's like why is there smoke? Holy shit! <laughs> My switch on fire. Mm hmm You know, you hear your switch is saying, "Why have you forsaken me, Father?" Mm-hmm. Yeah, Space Marine is getting um quite a bit of tension right now. Yeah, Space Marine. Oh yeah, Astrobot. Astrobot is another one that's getting a lot of good attention. After what happened with Concord. <laughs> oh yeah, I seen this character too from Concord. I keep getting reminded of uh what's her face? Valkyrie. It's like it looks like Valkyrie if she was wearing a some sort of like hazmat suit. It's almost like they took, they like copied their homework for this one. Oh yeah, and she has a jetpack too, so it looks like they, <laughs> looks like they probably copied off of uh, Valkyrie. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I I have actually been periodically been playing Apex again with the boys, but definitely not on my own. I have not played on my own. This um, man don't want white hairs. Yeah, it's. Uh, more or less the same ish. I mean, some characters got changes, but other than that, I, you know, think it's the same ish. Other than um, oh, uh, what would you want to call it? There was a quick revive mode, or whatever you call it, and then there's a straight shot, which it's a little more interesting, but it's a little more hectic because um, it's like a man um. Basically, what happens in Battle Royale, but more condensed, because it's like, okay, you're done with this fight, but then you have, like, the next next team fighting coming in at right after. So, um, but you have a chance, though, because if any of your teammates are still alive, you can still come back and uh, respawn on your own. You don't have to, like, revive you or anything, anything like that. They could, but it, you don't have, um, they don't have to, if they stay alive. So it's it is a little interesting, but it's more or less the same. Yeah. And uh, oh yeah, and the, the way they do the battle pass is like, um, kind of confusing. But basically, if you fulfill um certain missions, you can actually get the legendary skins for free if you go through the battle pass. But now, um, there's a higher tier. That, that's what you pay for. Um, so basically, it's kind of like, yeah, you def can technically can get the battle pass stuff for free. But if you want to get the mm -hmm. pl the plus like premium stuff, now you have to pay twenty bucks for it, and then you you have to level up the battle pass to get the other stuff. Very strange um, thing they did, but okay, you know. And, like, the missions aren't even that hard to do. So, it's like, huh. So, technically, I could get a good amount of stuff for free. Even, like, yeah, the legendary... So it's pretty much, like, what? what is the purpose? Right. Um, And you don't even have to use um the, what do you call the Apex coins. You just mm -hmm. have to fulfill the, uh, the missions to get the initial, like, the free stuff uh, with the legendary skins and stuff. It's just that if you want to you if you want to get that extra, then yeah, you have to put in money, and they're they're okay. um split. They have the splits, which is very strange. So we're, we're, so right now it's still, you know, season whatever split one. So I'm like, huh, oh, okay, it's very weird, but all right. So very strange thing they did with the battle pass, but I guess it works because yeah, you're you're. 
pretty much rewarded for playing the game, pretty much. So I guess that's a W. But looking at the, when you're trying to look through the battle passes, like the menu is confusing to me. It, like it kind of, I think they dropped they dropped the ball there, at least for me anyway. But yeah. Um, I have not played the new hero, which is a uh, altar. I've. I kind of have no idea still how she works, other than the fact that yeah she uses portals. So I haven't really gotten the good sit down and play with her. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then uh, Tokyo Game Show is uh, coming up since September, so get ready. Yep, yep, yep. Get ready, guys. Place your bets. Mm-hmm. Make your bingo cards or whatever and stuff like that. Yeah. Yep. Um. Oh yeah. I guess we can wrap it up with this. I got some. Uh, I got a little new toy. Ugh. For uh, my videos and stuff. Which I will be using tomorrow. For a video. Which is yeah. I'll show this all first. It's uh. This, which I don't know if you've seen it. It's like uh a lot of vloggers use it. It's uh, it's like one of those one of these like gimbal cameras, mm -hmm. and um, so like the 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 what do you call it? the actual camera is right here, and it like stabilizes when you uh even if you like move around, so like the video will come out like not shaky and stuff, and then here's what the front looks like. It's got the screen and everything. Um, I I don't have it turned on right now, but yeah. So until and so it looks pretty, and then you accidentally drop sneeze it. and you let go, and it goes. Whee! That's the thing, right? Because um, this is not like your GoPro, because you know GoPros are supposed to be like action cameras, those they're like durable and waterproof. This is yeah. not durable nor waterproof. So if you drop this, um, I mean it'll, it'll probably take take like a few hits, but yeah, this this shit definitely feels like you don't you do not want to drop this. <laughs> <laughs> You know, just like any other like DSLR, like a DSLR is like, you know, kind of fragile if you're not careful with it too. In that sense. But yeah, so far, um, I fucked around with it and it's uh, kind of cool. Um, I took little videos of my That's dog. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I think what I, uh, what I may do also is do more um, videos of me walking around uh, like Palace Verdes and stuff in, in the beach. So I'll Maybe in a sense, will give me an excuse to be a little more healthy and touch grass. <laughs> yes, quotes. He, 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 he's just going to use this and then he's going to play Pokemon Go again. Man, those are the days, dude. Those are the fucking days. Yeah, like you, I, you fucking. What was it? Was it you or someone else that was. No, it was Kiras, right? That did the whole. um live stream while he was driving to the next um, Pokemon area and stuff. Oh, was it him? I, I forget. I don't know. No, it, was, it, was, it was either you or Peter. It was like someone kept... No, well, I, I definitely didn't make a video. Like, I made an actual, like, YouTube video about us playing um, yeah. uh, Pokemon Go, but I don't think none of us were... Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe it, it could have been, been someone... like 6,000 years. Yeah, right. Um... Dude, fucking yeah, Keters was crazy about it. I remember uh, Quiet was with us and played the shit out of it too. Mono the Monophos, man, he was just going in. He was like team. He was all like super like team Valor and everything. He had the gloves. He had the fucking like clothes and everything. He was like a Pokemon trainer, pretty much. He like. Uh, what you, what you call? He like was really willing to stand in the middle of the street just to get the, the Pokemon, or whatever. That that shit was crazy, man. Dedication, boy. Dedication, dude. He was definitely dedicated for sure. But it was kind of like, like wow, because there's so many people outside just to play Pokemon Go. That was like, like the park was full, the beaches were crowded, um. It was now that you think about it, it's that was nuts. Yep. For a mobile game, dude. Pokemon Go will always be it, it, I think I feel like that game is like pretty historic because it actually made people go outside. 
that that actually made people well sorry but you know you know it, it the the honeymoon has been long over but yeah that shit was like in is fucking insane and then the sales for like the uh, what do you call those power banks the p battery packs when i'm pretty sure went up by like a thousand percent because people's phones were just like instantly dying playing uh yep. pokemon go for sure how was it in hawaii when you're when uh pokemon go was active uh we had our places where people would gather up there was this fame it's a it was the we had a street that was just full just like um the fucking pokey stops were just filled on this one street and so that's yeah. where um all the uh food carts and stuff would just you know make bank yeah i don't know what i recorded the video with what that was that was that me using my camcorder my god i don't know man the camcorders man they're... Those are like relics up this at this point. Yeah. People still use them. I think like old people still use them. But man, but, but no, now you got stuff like this to record your video, your phone, like that's pretty much it. Um but yeah. Oh yeah, it's called by the way, it's called the DGI Pocket uh no, Osmo Pocket 3. Uh DGI is kind of like uh the up and coming like camera company. Uh, that kind of competes with um, GoPros and stuff. Oh, I think that's what I recorded with a GoPro. Maybe I don't know. I gotta, I gotta look back on that. But man, that was that was that was a time. That was a time. All right. I think with that we can definitely uh end it and um yeah end a little early because yeah we had uh just a couple things to talk about. I think really the big one was like Dr. Disrespect and Concord and uh Minecraft movie. So yeah. Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Minecraft. All right. Well, anyways, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you want to uh enjoy uh enjoy the show. Um yes. yeah, uh don't forget to hit the thumbs up on YouTube and all that stuff. Subscribe, all that fun stuff. We live stream on Saturdays around seven o'clock or seven thirty. Um for the most part. If you want to catch us live on Twitch, mm -hmm. uh, twitch.tv slash hot 5 to 5 all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, so with that, thank you very much for tuning in. We will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.